Well, hello there. I'm Allie, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you like readings of Reddit posts, creepypastas, scary stories, or SCPs, you've come to the right place. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, read the description and stick around to the end of the video to know where else to find me and how you, yes you, can support the channel. Now, let's get on to the narration. Something is happening to me. I can't quite explain it, but I'm gonna do my hardest to try. To put it bluntly, my name is Blair Daniels, or at least it used to be. Now, I've become someone else. I'm living someone else's life, and apparently, I'm not the only one this is happening to. Let me explain. No, there's too much. Let me sum it up. You've probably heard of the real me before. I share experiences of my life quite often here on Reddit. Well, about a few weeks back, I woke up and found out that my life, as I knew it, was gone. I didn't even realize what was happening at first. It started January 31st. It felt like I was waking up from a very long, very bad dream. But still, that sensation of a past life lingered on, especially for my son, Kevin. I knew he wasn't fake, but everywhere I turned, I kept getting the same response. No one seemed to remember Blair, the real me. How was that possible? Now I was someone else, Marjorie Bates. Who the fuck was that? It didn't make any sense. She didn't look like me, didn't sound like me, didn't even have a family. Why was I remembering Blair if I was supposed to be Marjorie? I tried to make sense of all of it and go about a normal routine for what seemed to be my life, but everything felt off. There was also this app called How Will You Die on my phone. I tried to check it out and see what it was about, but it didn't seem like it worked at all. I didn't remember downloading it either. Then, I got on Reddit last Monday and I saw someone posting about experiences they were having as Blair Daniels. How was that even fucking possible? They talked about making maple syrup with dad. That was my memory. And then they mentioned how their name and address were all different too. Even their face. I ran to the mirror to check mine. I don't know why I didn't even think about this before. Maybe it's because I had a fear of mirrors. Then I saw it there. A different face than the one I remembered. Why? How? I thought about it for a while, coming to terms with what was happening. This isn't the first time I've had supernatural shit thrown at me, and many of you know that. So I decided to consult a spirit medium. It seemed the only option before I went completely insane. It was Thursday, around 3.30 in the afternoon. I made my way down to the small corner right across from where I apparently now worked. The office was dingy and musty and the smell of incense hit my face as I walked in. There was an old gypsy woman sitting there. She seemed familiar to me, but I didn't recognize how. Another lingering memory from my old life? Sit, she said soothingly. I did as she instructed and she closed the curtains to her shrouded face. You look troubled, my dear, she said. That doesn't even begin to describe it, I answered back. I was anxious. All of this felt wrong. She proceeded to read my palm, closing her eyes and muttering a few special words. She seemed to get more excited herself as she traced the lines on my hand. Then she abruptly snapped back and stared at me wide-eyed. You have a purpose, she said, but her voice didn't sound natural. What? My mouth was dry and my skin felt clammy. What was this old witch talking about? You've traveled to other places, other lives. You've seen death a hundred times and it will happen to you again tonight. The fortune teller warned. Die? How do I stop it? I asked. I was desperate. There is no stopping it. That is your purpose. Keep the cycle going, she said. What about my son? What'll happen to him? Suddenly, the old woman began to shake violently and speak backwards gibberish. I stood up and watched as her eyes turned a black color and she pointed a crooked finger at me. Return what you have stolen! She shrieked. 
I ran out of the room and back toward my car, barely catching my breath. I looked back toward the fortune teller, worried she might follow, but then I rubbed my eyes and gave the spot a second look. Had the fortune teller ever been there at all? I turned to the internet again and tried to contact this imposter, the one that said they were the real Blair. I took pictures of the entire conversation because it just shows that I'm right. Something sinister is happening to all Blairs, maybe from other places. I'm contacting you about the post you made on Reddit. Could you please explain to me why it is that you said you or someone named the Blair Daniels? I am Blair. Who are you? That's the thing. I know this won't make sense, but I'm Blair too. The memories you described, they were my memories. What's going on? That's not possible. How can we both be the same person? Please, you have to help me. Oh my god. What? It's happening again. What? What is? The thing that took my real life. It's contacted me again. That was my phone. I got off Reddit and saw a message from the app. Soon. It sent a shiver down my spine. Then Rebecca was contacting me again. Go check no sleep. There's another one. I did, and I saw the account. Bonnie Dennison. Who the fuck was that? I read the account. I saw everything that happened to them. They even talked about Kevin. What the fuck? I felt scared. That was Friday. And now the real Blair Daniels account is online. And they are insisting they are the real Blair too. But something's off. There are others on Reddit also claiming to be Blair. I've tried to contact Bonnie but didn't get a response, and Rebecca never messaged me after this. One final thing. That notification I got. It turned to a countdown. 19 days till... I don't know what's gonna happen. But I don't think it's good. Not for any of us. Hey guys, Ali here. Thanks for sticking around this far into the video. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, check out the description so you can follow my social media and find out how you can support the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next upload. Bye!